It's another night of tracking the potential for severe weather. I've got the latest coming up. We're tracking the investigation into a body that was found in a Madison County Creek. A consumer alert this afternoon about another food recall. What the Lexington Health Department has to say about listeria concerns in our area. Tracking, alerting, protecting. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Amber Philpot reporting. We have heard this before. We have a chance for severe weather for the third day in a row. Yeah, pop up showers will arrive later this afternoon and stick with us through the night before the threat for stronger storms moves in in our overnight. Chris Bailey has been tracking the severe weather threat on the first alert defender. Hi, Chris. Guys, we had a couple of rounds of some severe thunderstorms into northern Kentucky a little earlier this afternoon. A lot of that stuff now up into the Buckeye state of Ohio, but it's also that complex of thunderstorms. That prompted a severe thunderstorm watch to be issued for northern and northeastern parts of the state until 10 o'clock. That does include Lexington, Frankfort, Moorhead, and Ashland. But a quick look at live first alert defenders suggesting that that big complex of thunderstorms that sparked the initial watch is now well to our north and northeast. Thunderstorms around Louisville are actually heading more toward Cincinnati than they are the Lexington area. Live first alert defender up close and personal now. One lone shower racing across sections of the Rowan and Fleming County area. Areas. Between Beattyville and Boonville, that's on the Lee and Owsley County line, a teeny tiny shower. Those showers are trying to pop up a little farther to the south around London, Corbin, and Williamsburg, not having a whole lot of success. I suspect we have many dry hours to uh, come as we go through the evening hours. Those storms, again, put everything in motion, are racing more to the north as opposed to the east. That's a good thing. What's a bad thing? Well, it's a squall line of thunderstorms that's cranking from Iowa back into Missouri, parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. Now, that is a line that will try to scream across Kentucky very late tonight, likely well after midnight for many of us into the central and eastern parts of the state. That's a bad and a good thing. Bad part of that, obviously, it's coming when a lot of folks will be at sleep. Good part about it, it's coming during the overnight when a lot of the storms tend to weaken a little bit. So if we are tracking that severe weather threat tonight, wind, hail would be the primary players. I know you've heard that one before over the past couple of days. Guys, when I come back in a little bit, yes, we're going to target the severe weather potential overnight, but I'm also going to talk about some better weather finally moving in for your weekend. That's in about 10 minutes. All right, Chris, thank you. Many questions remain this afternoon after a body was pulled from a central Kentucky creek. A group of canoers found a man's body last night near Will Green Lake outside of Richmond. Our Sam Smith reports investigators are still trying to figure out who this man is and how he ended up in the water. It's our top story at 4.30. I spoke with a man that lives around here. He says a group of kayakers found the body last night. It was around 7.30 when officials were notified about the body. Kentucky State Police, Fire, Rescue Squad, and the coroner responded out to Silver Creek off of Curtis Pike. The coroner pronounced the unidentified man dead at the scene. The coroner says because the man was in the water and water speeds up decomposition, there's no way to tell by looking at him how long the body was in the water, cause of death, or age. Officials hope to learn more about the man soon. Kentucky State Police believe the man is from the area. You know, we do have uh, missing persons cases uh, that do come into this post. So we, we've, we've correlated kind of kind of who we think he may be uh, back to those cases. Uh, it looks like it is going to be a case from here in Madison County. An autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. In Madison County, Sam Smith, WKYT. Now, police ask anyone who saw anything suspicious the last few weeks in the Silver Creek area to give them a call. Another major nationwide food recall. The Virginia-based Sabra Dipping Company is recalling 30,000 cases of classic hummus due to listeria concerns. That is the same bacteria that caused Bluebell ice cream to issue recalls. As WKYT's Rebecca Smith reports, workers with the Fayette County Health Department will soon head to area stores to make sure the products are not on the shelves. Sabra Dipping Company recalled 30,000 cases of its classic hummus because of concerns over listeria. Symptoms include have some muscle tiredness, some body aches. Uh, you're going to have uh, be sick to your stomach, the intestinal problems, diarrhea, uh, fever, 
it's kind of like a, just the normal uh, stomach bug. The Fayette County Health Department says the hummus sold here in the bluegrass is okay for now, but health inspectors are out checking stores to make sure they've gotten rid of certain bluebell ice cream flavors. A new wave of recalls of pints was announced this week after three more illnesses were reported. Some sherbets and half gallon varieties are also affected. With this recall of these batches of bluebell ice cream, the health department says the problem may not necessarily be out at the stores, although they are inspecting them. The problem for a lot of folks could just be sitting there already right in their own freezer. When you consider the sheer amount of volume that Bluebell is putting out and the few uh, people who have been sick from this, now it, it's awful that there have been deaths and there have been any illnesses, but it really shows that, that people are, are being uh, very responsible on this. And For a complete list of recalled products, go to our website, WKYT.com. In Lexington, Rebecca Smith, WKYT. Well, some people may suffer only short-term symptoms like high fever, severe headache, nausea, abdominal pain, and diarrhea, but listeria can also cause miscarriages and stillbirths among pregnant women. Some people in southern Kentucky are upset over what they call a takeover of their community. The Pulaski County Judge Executive was approached by a concert promoter to hold concerts at a park which borders Lake Cumberland. The park is in the dry community of Nancy. In order to hold concerts there, promoters would have to sell alcohol. Monday night, Burnside voted to annex a portion of the park to make it wet. We've got a, a diamond in the rough with Pulaski County Park. It's the most beautiful place, one of the most beautiful places on the lake, uh, and it's just underutilized. They use the word annexation, but annexation is just a nice word for takeover, and that's what we feel like this is, is a takeover. Tonight on WKYT News at 6, we'll explain why this latest annexation is just the tip of the iceberg for people in Nancy. Live first alert defender with some scattered thunderstorms still well to the west of the bluegrass state, but I'm timing the potential for overnight severe storms when I come back in just a moment.